Hi, I'm Christian Ray Malintad and this is my second show with Little Boy Productions. Progress is an interesting musical for me because I get to do everything like sing, dance, and act. Hi, I'm Alfred Rembonanza. So aside from acting, I also play the guitar and display. Hi, so my name is Venice Diane Vila Frades. My friends call me Nice. I'm currently a fifth year industrial engineering student of the University of San Carlos. Hi, my name is Jun Ray. I am from University of Cebu, and but I am currently employed as a nurse in Vicente Salta Memorial Medical Center. Well, the, the songs of progress, the musical, is very enjoyable because it brings me back to my childhood years, you know. Um, it's very nursery rhyme <laughs> but, you know, the, the, the message that it conveys is very, very heavy that everybody could relate to. Hi, I'm April. I am 26 years old. I'm from the University of Cebu main campus, but right now I'm teaching at Cebu Technological University main campus. I teach English, language, and literature classes. Progress appeals to me as, as a teacher because uh, I am interested about studying national artists for literature like, like for example, F. Chanel Jose and Alberto Estorentino uh, and, other, and other writers. And, and this is an opportunity for me to delve more into Philippine literature and, and study more about it, the, the styles of the writers. And, and another thing is that how a short story is adapted into a play. And this is really another venue for me. It not, not just because I get to be reading the script, but because I get to act out what's in the script. And, it's, it's multi-dimensional as, as a teacher and as a learner at the same time. Hi, I'm Brian. Um, I'm a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. And this is my first time uh, joining a stage play. Hi, I'm Anne Valerie Salmero. I'm 26 years old. I'm a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Cebu Doctors University. And I'm currently um, a call center agent and also a registered nurse. Progress is very different from my previous musical plays since it is very dramatic, full of lines, and also we were going to deliver it in a very Visaya accent. Hi, my name is Penny Lane Gavino and I work in a market research company and this is my third show with Little Boy Productions. I play Marina Salcedo. I like the role because it's very challenging. She journeys from innocence to being corrupted by rotten government officials. Hi, I'm Alden Riambunanza. They call me Bata in theater. Nobody actually calls me Alden here, so yeah. And I've been uh, working with Little Boy for 10 years now, either as an actor, uh, but most of the time as stage crew, usher and all. Then here I'm back as an actor. Uh, most of my friends or some of some people would say, Uy, it's okay na lagi ka sa little boy, no? <laughs> and yeah, that's, uh, that's good. And, and I, I like it because little boy is very amiable to adjust to my working schedule. So, the challenge of this play is that I play multiple roles and it's political. I want to be effective in each role that I play. Hi, I am Joanna Jane Ang. Um, I prefer to be called JJ. I'm 23 years old and I am a registered nurse. I graduated from Cebu Normal University and also now I'm taking my master's um, also in nursing at also at the same school. Hi, my name is Romeline L. Tumula. I'm working at China Bank Guadalupe. Um, this is my first production with uh, Little Boy Production. Hi, my name is Gail Anthony. I am a dentist by profession. I also teach dentistry at the Cebu Doctors College of Dentistry. Hi, I'm Lyle Navarro and then I'm taking a PS Psychology at the University of San Carlos and then I hail from Cagayan de Oro. First, thank you for uh, assisting in the transformation of fiction into theater. Because th there's a big difference 
you know, the writer works by himself, isolated from everything, and he really doesn't know kung anong reaction sa ginawa niya. But, but the theater, immediate yan eh, immediate. The response is very immediate. And for, for, ano, for actors, you know, uh, that's very heartwarming. You know, kung, kung makita nila na the audience likes it, you know. That's food for the soul. You know. Pag sinulat mo na, bahala na yung the other people who are interested in it. They, they, they create something new na. That's no, that's no longer in my hands. It's out of my hands. This is one transformation which all writers should welcome you. And and of course, one of the best ways is to transform this this into movies. You know, uh, basically this this uh, was a reaction to the Marcos dictatorship. And. Uh, you must remember that in those days there, there was also censorship. Well, in the first place, literature is always political. Hindi uh, mawawala yan. But sometimes the, 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 the political aspect can degenerate into um, raucous propaganda. See? And, and the artist must always be careful that that what he writes is not propaganda, that first and always it must be art. We have a Western tradition in theater, uh, the folk tradition, New Moro Moro, you know, the Sarasuela. We've got to do something uh, from, from, such, from such a folk beginning and, and, and uh, what was done with progress, for instance, is one of those very good examples of how story can be can metamorphose into a musical and a comedy which sucks you at the same time huh? the, the ending you know we should develop the theater because one there's a tradition in it huh? second don't think don't think of theater as uh, in competition with television or radio no uh, people in theater could go into TV you know, or into radio when a Filipino spends um, 20 pesos no, or 40 pesos for beer, he should be able to spend also 20 pesos for something that will uplift his mind, his heart. You know. So uh, I haven't lost hope about the theater getting a mass audience. You know.